Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here, and today I've got another short little unboxing video to share with you guys. I cannot remember what this is, but I know it was sent by Jim Skelton because it says Jim Skelton on the front of it. So thank you very much, Jim Skelton. If you are not familiar with his channel, I, I don't know how you're not at this point. Jim Skelton's been around for way longer than me. Uh, make sure you subscribe. Some pretty cool and unique stuff over there. Um, I imagine I'll remember as soon as I open it. So if it's something I can link, I will link it right down below so you guys can check it out. Uh, thanks so much to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at Metal underscore Complex. Okay, let's see. I'm pretty sure this is a pass around uh, knife. I just can't remember what it is. So let's find out. Let's find out. Hmm. Yeah. All right, we got a this stuff, and then we got a pouch here. What is this actually a knoll? Is it? Oh, is it? Wait, is it? What is this? Carbon steel WRX. Okay. Oh, <laughs> wait. It is. This is Noel's new prototype. Wow, what a departure from <laughs> what a departure from the last thing that he did. That is, you know, like this compound specifically this type of compound Tanto. It, it's like. All these designers are daring each other to make progressively more wicked versions of them. These seem to get more and more... It's like a folding witch's dagger is what it makes me think of. Um, but, uh, okay, so the name of this, I'm going to put it up right here so that we know what it is. And uh, then let's go ahead and take a look at this. I do like what I assume is like a PVD on the pivot. And then, I don't know, it's just... Is it William Riat? Probably... Action's good. I mean, this is what I like about Knoll Knives. The All of the designs that uh, have come out of this company, which, I is it three? I think this is the third one. They have all been unique, right? It's all, I mean, like, it's a knife, right? It's a pocket knife. But there's all, all of them have had elements that make the knife design unique, something different, right? It's not another straight profile. And what, so here, we, what we did was we made an ergonomic profile for the handle and then uh, we will have the classic drop point blade great we have we have a, a, a billion of those right that's all that's fine if that's what you want to make but what makes this interesting is that it is different <laughs> a little bit at least look at this little <laughs> this is so bizarre this almost curls back around i'm not sure if i want to call that a i'm not sure if i feel safe there but you can get your you can get a little bit of your finger in there. And then we have this little short area right here where this has been hollow ground. I think this is hand rub satin on the initial grind. The secondary up here is, of course, flat. And this has belt satin. So we have hand rub, hand rub, hand rub, belt satin, maybe? Very wicked. This actually tapers back up. So we have a little bit of that. It's a trailing a short trailing compound tanto, modified sheep's worn tiger's foot, uh, witch's tentacle, whatever, right? A blade shaped police will come after me. Actually, <laughs> wee -wee -wee. no, he, he he labeled it incorrectly. We have to, we must educate, right? Whatever you want to call this. I mean, Octopus Tuesday high five surprise, I think is my default, right? It's like going with C on a test. Um, but um, this is cool. Corbin Steel WRX is this? I, I I'm sure uh, the link down below will provide additional information on this. Um, I and if you guys ever wonder like why do you never do you never seem prepared for these unboxings? It's on purpose. I have found that it, when I am overloaded with information about a knife before it comes in, it makes me feel obligated like internally, even though it's it's the the part of me that struggles with that is I want to be as honest as possible, right? So when I'm overloaded with information, it kind of stops me from having that initial reaction to the knife, right? That natural initial uh, reaction to it. Uh, and instead, I'm just focusing on like everything that I know that was given to me in the form of like a paragraph on Instagram or an email. So I kind of like to go in blind, 
right? And then all of those additional details are then offered in the final comprehensive review, um, or you guys can seek them out for yourselves because I'll once again have provided a link for this, you know, prototype or any information surrounding it down in the description. So that's the way that I like to do it. I, I just intentionally don't like to have a whole lot. I just kind of like to experience to get the aura of the thing right off the bat, the spirit of the thing right off the bat. The inlay is cool, and I love it when the inlay goes partially over the frame at least. Uh, why? Because it just it creates less room for your fingers to accidentally put pressure on that lock bar while you're deploying it, which makes it harder to deploy. Surprisingly, I'm not going to say that this is the most comfortable knife I've ever handled, but it is a lot more comfortable than I thought. All of this looks angular and jagged and aggressive, and really it's the blade making it do that. The handle by itself really doesn't look that bad. You look at the blade and you're like, oh, you know, the whole thing's going to be owie. No. We have a longer than I would have liked pocket clip. I think this thing could have been maybe 60%. <laughs> but the nice thing is, is that it is milled. Um, and it's also contoured on top. And these edges here that, you know, would otherwise be sharp are not. So... That's not much of a problem. You're definitely aware that that pocket clip is there. It's not like the pocket clip disappears in the grip. The most comfortable way to grip this is definitely back here. So you are not a super long distance from the initial cutting edge, right? And it's not like that cutting edge. This is, it's more, <laughs> it's more secondary, you know, the, the, the second edge. There's more of that than the initial, which is not usually the case. Usually we have more here. It's more of a 70-30. <laughs> this is like 70-30 the other way, right? Or 65-35. Is that right? Does that make equal 100? Whatever. This isn't a math channel. Get off me. Uh, the action is very good. Doesn't take much. Just a little bit of encouragement there. Uh, thumb studs are in a nice place and they're wide enough and the ridges are plentiful enough that there's not such a dramatic step Thumb studs I get real particular with. If they're too small and you do these steps, right? sometimes the steps are, there's fewer of them. Like there's only three steps and they're dramatic 90 degree angles, which makes the thing like, it's like a Lego hat, right? But like the steeped Lego, I forget that uh, music video with the guy with the red, the red cone hats from the, is it was like the eighties? I don't know. I think it was the hats that they wore in Revenge of the Nerds. Um, that's what it makes me think of, up against my thumb. Uh, but these are not that. These are little tiny micro steps, and they're pretty knocked down, so easy to engage with. Um, like I said, inlay works great. We have a sort of a floating backspacer design, which is nice. That is either, I don't know if it's just like coated titanium or something else, but I'm, I'm that's what it feels like to me. And then on the inside, do we have milling? I don't think so. It doesn't look like it. Probably because we have that inlay now. What's the overall length? Real quick. Usually I wait to do the review, but I, I know some people just want to know. Basic specs. Seven and a quarter inches. Blade length is three on the dot. Cutting edge mm, is 2.75. Wait. I'm going to guess it weighs about three and a half. Let's find out. Maybe less. A little more, actually. That's weird. It really <laughs> doesn't. Uh, it doesn't feel uh, that heavy at all. Uh, maybe just the presence of it is throwing me off. The balance is right behind the pivot, right where you're going to put your index finger anyway. So that's nice. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. It doesn't. It didn't feel. You know, four ounces isn't heavy anyway. But okay, there you go. That's cool. Uh, this was a fun one. Expect the full comprehensive review in a couple of weeks after I've had a chance to. You know, look it over, experience it, do what I normally do, which is pretty, pretty light. You guys know I'm not taking it out and batoning. I'm just using these knives like regular pocket knives, like a regular guy, right? Um, but uh, I will compare it with, uh, you know, other things that are in a general, you know, competition zone, right? Give you an idea of value versus the competition out there. That's going to be pretty much it. Like I said, make sure you guys subscribe to Jim, Jim Skelton. I'm certain that most of you are already. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like. So check those out. 
And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely, ouch, e, my little rolly mat thing is coming apart underneath my foot. And I'm stepping on the shards of it. That's, it's time to replace that. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, everybody. <laughs> How do I end this? <laughs> Make sure and subscribe and all that. I forgot. I don't know. I, I, I got thrown off in the middle of my outro. Okay. Bye.